John Carpenter doesn't care about Halloween anymore. And maybe some of you fans don't either. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about something that has come to my mind and I've heard in some comments on some of my videos and some chatter throughout the fandom and also something that we heard from the legendary horror master himself, John Carpenter. Uh, fans, along with John Carpenter, they just don't care about Halloween anymore. It's, it's done, you know? Um, and it's an interesting uh, interview that he did with Vulture a few months ago. And he was kind of talking about his feelings on the franchise and also his feelings on his original movie. And, and what that all means and his big takeaway was uh, that he really just doesn't care he, he says that uh, the Halloween movie that I love most is the one I made back in 1978 the one I directed others are other people's visions that's the way it goes that's what happens when you give up I didn't want to direct sequels I didn't think there was any story left boy was I wrong huh now, Walt Carpenter appreciates the money he receives when people remake his films. He doesn't spend much time thinking about the quality of those remakes. He goes on to say, there are two kinds of remakes for me. He said, one is where I'm the originator of the material. I wrote the screenplay. Two, it was an assignment from the studio. We want you to do this. If it's an assignment from the studio, they don't pay me when they do a remake. They own the material. If I've generated the screenplay, they have to pay me. That's the kind of sequel I like. My movie exists. Make your own. You want to pay me a bunch of bucks? Fine. Have a great time. So the <laughs> there you have it from John Carpenter in uh, just a few words, totally unfiltered. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting to hear him say that, but because of how things have gone with the uh, David Gordon Green trilogy, you know, we have a lot of fans that are on both sides of the fences. Some that feel like the franchise is as popular as it's ever been and they're happy about that. And then we have some people that think it's literally the end of the franchise or that anything from here on out is never going to reach any great heights uh, for the franchise or for Michael Myers as, an, as a horror icon. I have a few thoughts about that, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Plus, I also want to highlight uh, a comment in one of my videos that really captured the idea of where some fans are at. And we'll do that in a second. But one other thing I wanted to say about John Carpenter from his interview with Vulture, it talks about the lack of sentimentality extends to his existing films, as Carpenter also revealed that he has little interest in going back and rewatching his own work. He says, quote, never, I don't want to see it. When I watch my old movies, I see the mistakes and the things I didn't do. And I start looking like, what am I doing? That's stupid. Why didn't I do this? That's painful. I don't want to do that. So I don't watch. So, I mean, there you have it, you know, and, and it's funny because I've also heard that Steven Spielberg um, and actually Steven Spielberg has said this before out of the 30 something films that he's done, he only rewatches a handful of them. I think he said maybe four or five of them, maybe about four or five of them out of his entire catalog that he's uh, rewatched. So that's, you know, from John Carpenter and Steven Spielberg themselves to very, very amazing directors. But going back to the franchise, you know, we have some fans that are very, very um, downbeat about where things are going to go. And we had a comment on one of my latest videos and it was on my video where I talked about a Halloween prequel um, is the next film. You know, we were speculating, could that be the next route that they take? And is it an idea to reignite the franchise? And um, this is from uh, Brent Halliwell, 1702. And thank you very much for commenting, by the way. Um, but he says, I think Halloween has had its time, honestly. If they do make another one, it's likely to be a remake for the next generation of horror fans. And I did respond to that comment. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. It gets very challenging. But I said to him, I said, you know, I think that if the next film comes out and it's good, which is very possible, 
um, it's going to reignite the horror fans again. They're, they're going to be back on page with it because obviously Halloween Ends was very, very divisive. But if the next film is good or if they do a new trilogy or a new, you know, handful of films, you know, if one of them is really, really good, then horror fans will be fine. And the reason I say that is because, and I said this in my comment to Brent, it was because think about this the Halloween franchise has gone through a roller coaster over its entire run. The entire run has been a roller coaster. Starting back with Halloween 2, it wasn't even a game plan for John Carpenter to do. He did it because of contract obligations, him and Deborah Hill trying to put this thing together, figuring out a reason to have Michael come after Laurie. So we come up with the sibling angle. And there was, you know, some other things that they did where they changed the tone a bit because now you had Friday the 13th, you had these other slashers coming out. And so Halloween had to kind of catch up, which was ironic because Halloween really uh, was kind of the blueprint for the slasher subgenre. And then other movies, most notably Friday the 13th, came out and, and kind of pushed that envelope with the gore and, and the, the, the kills and stuff like that. So Halloween... Um, changed up its formula a little bit for Halloween 2. I still love Halloween 2, but that was one thing. So Michael is dead at the end of Halloween 2. He's dead. That was the plan. He was gone. And then, of course, Season of the Witch comes out. And Season of the Witch totally divided audiences, myself included. I did not like the film when I was a kid. It took me years before I even had an open, an open mind enough to revisit it. And now I totally... I love the film and I understand what they were trying to do. They didn't market the film well at all. So there was a lot of issues as far as studio, but um, it is what it is. So then you have Halloween four, kind of a return to form. You know, it was a very well received movie, uh, a lot of great stuff in it. Great characters, most notably Jamie Lloyd and Rachel. Um, George P. Wilbur was very, very good at, as Michael. Um, still don't like the mask though you guys know how I feel about that freaking mask but <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying so everything's going good right and then we go to Halloween 5 and although I like a lot of elements of Halloween 5 there are a lot of missteps you have Jamie Lloyd is mute for 60% of the movie 65% of the movie you kill Rachel why do you kill Rachel? You kill Rachel within the first 18 minutes of the movie. Bye to Ellie Cornell. Huge mistake. One of the biggest mistakes in the franchise, in my opinion, because I think Rachel and Jamie together, they made Halloween 4 so good. The chemistry was so good. Can you imagine if we got that in Halloween 5? So, Halloween 5, a lot of issues. Yeah, <laughs> you know, those freaking cops with the music. All clear. Nothing above, nothing below. <laughs> like, what What were they thinking? People are almost getting killed on the set. Don Shanks gets hurt. I mean, it's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on with this movie? So it definitely took a step back. And I'm sure fans were not super happy at the time. The mask, like, like how did we... Look, we go from Halloween 4... And then we go to five. How did we get to a more horrible mask? I don't know. No no shade to Don Shanks. I love Don Shanks. But that mask was horrible. You guys know it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, bitch. This Nicolas Cage looking mask. So look. So the fans probably weren't very happy at that point. So then you go into Halloween 6. Again, you have people on both sides of the fence. Some people are big fans of it. Some people are not. I think there's some good stuff in it. I think they were trying to do something different. I wasn't the biggest fan of the whole idea of the cult and also what they did to Jamie Lloyd and the whole idea of the baby and how that happened. It's like, what is going on in this horror movie? Michael Myers is what? He's doing what? So anyways, but... Um, but you did have Loomis, and I think it was great to see Donald Pleasance in his last appearance as Dr. Loomis. So the, the franchise at that point 
was not at its highest it just wasn't i'm just calling it what it is again there's a lot of great things in curse of michael myers but there's a lot of things that were just kind of off so then you have h2o h2o comes out and again the popularity is back you know it's making money it's you know it's, it's halloween 20 years later a lot of great things about it all right they killed michael at the end they killed him you know they killed him the people in the theater were cheering everybody's happy happy and then what you get re <laughs> you get resurrection trick or treat motherfucker and you you kill Lori straight off in the worst way possible she does the dumbest shit and Buster Rhymes is 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 is, is kung fuing Michael what is going on what is going on it's another low point for the franchise it truly is when Rob Zombie's Halloween came out in 2007 I went to the theater to see it there was a lot of excitement number one because it was Rob Zombie we knew he was going to have his own fresh take on the story and it it did really well you know I think there was a lot of excitement about the franchise you know there's some folks that weren't big about all the backstory I've talked about that as well I think that you know they kind of went too deep into the backstory although it was interesting and it was some good scenes some good scenes with Malcolm McDowell some good scenes with Sherry Moon Zombie credit to her as well okay but then you get Halloween too and whoo I mean it's like people man again people just divided totally divided some people loved this really dark twisted take on the mythology it was different you got hobo Myers it's like all right for some people and then there were some people that were very alienated by it I'm in the middle I think there's some great things in it most notably Scout Danielle Harris Brad Dourif and obviously Tyler Maine is amazing as Michael it's a really good slasher movie there's a lot of emotional moments most notably from Scout and, and Danielle and Brad and again I talked about that in one of my latest videos with um, me talking about the most emotional death and I think it's Annie Brackett's death and and so there was great things that Rob Zombie did in Halloween too but no doubt people were divided and when they killed Michael and when he was talking to Loomis and die you know it, it seemed like a low point for the franchise it really did Rob Zombie didn't even want to do the movie it was a contract oblig obligation there was a lot of studio interference so it's like okay let's take a break for nine years and then 2018 comes out and it's like we're back you've got a good mask you've got a good cast Jamie Lee Curtis is coming back we're gonna you know finish up this this arc with her and Michael Myers in this this trilogy this would-be trilogy uh, great practical effects James Drew Courtney was like you know just what a find you know as far as to play Michael Myers it was just absolutely perfect so again we come back to a high point a lot of people go back and forth on kills and of course a lot of people most people uh, rail against ends so everyone's thinking well we're never gonna have good times again well guys I just went through the whole history of the damn franchise <laughs> that's why I know that we can still have good times with this franchise there's gonna be some other director that's gonna come through with a vision and you know some good casting and hopefully a good story and we're gonna have another good Halloween movie we will it's just it's just logical so for you guys that might be down in the dumps thinking oh, we're never gonna get a good Michael Myers movie again it's over or if you're thinking that it's only gonna be something that's gonna be enjoyed by the newer horror fans I would just say slow down you know we've seen this before we've been down this road before and whether you think it's I guess it's unfortunately or maybe it's fortunately it we've been through this before many many times you know uh season of the witch Halloween 5 Halloween 6 Halloween resurrection Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 now Halloween ends it's like we've seen this pattern before and I suppose it can also speak to the strength of the franchise you know to find a way to come back and do some really good sequels in a, in a franchise has been around for 45 years I think that's something that a lot of people don't talk about either is that this franchise always finds a way to kind of come back and do some good stuff so I would just say that this is a video where yes 
John Carpenter, he doesn't care about Halloween anymore. We kind of knew that, and it's okay. He had his movie in 78, and we can always enjoy it. A bad sequel is never going to affect my love for Halloween 78. So when he says, I really don't care, I get it. Because he hasn't been a part of these things. Yes, on the new trilogy, you know, he was involved a little bit and worked on the music, which was great. But as far as everything else, he's just kicking back and just doing his own thing. And I can respect that. So anyways, for you fans, hold on tight. I'm sure we're going to get another good Halloween movie. It might be a few years, but I'm sure it'll come. So just hold on tight. Don't worry. Michael's going to come back. We're going to be all right. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Because I wanted to reference the Halloween fans. And obviously the horror ma master himself, John Carpenter. And how it's going to be okay. So anyways, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is it over? Is it over? Are we never going to see a good Halloween movie again? Or is it possible, like we've seen many times in the past, where we're going to get another good Halloween movie at some point and we can all rejoice and have fun with it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps to support the channel and I'd appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to the Nightwatch Zone, this is the time to do it. Do it. We have a lot of great conversations. And who knows, maybe I'll reference one of your comments in a video. And oh, by the way, Click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can join us and become a channel member. And we can do different hangouts, live streams, watch parties, exclusive content, and more. So anyways, I'll catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Night Watch. Peace.